Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Hello, hello, guys. I'm going to get this rolling here in a second. I just got to do a little setup stuff real quick. Um, this is uh, Shake and Bake. This is uh, Homebrew Vehicle Sandbox. Uh, been playing uh, this for the last, I don't know, couple days now, nonstop. A huge update came out that includes weapons, and they are epic. I'm talking epic, and I'm going to show you guys some of those here in a minute. Uh, let me get my phone up here so I can uh, check out the chat once I get going here, okay? Stand by. I hope everybody's doing great. All right. All right, let's check my phone out here. I got to, I, I, I think I say this every time I, I get on the stream is I, uh, I've gotten rid of uh, my second screen. And so I have to watch the chat on my phone. I know that's pretty stupid, but uh, this is how it is. All right, let me go to my channel here on YouTube. All right, getting there. It's okay. We got one person to show. Ha ha ha! Yes, Sevion Bos Dalos. Yes, it's time for a little homebrew action. Because I, I got to show these weapons off, guys. I, I just think they're uh, they're epic. Plain and simple, they're epic. All right, hold on. I'm getting there. I just got to get my phone up. Hold on. I hope uh, I hope you're doing good, Skeleton. Uh-huh. Here we go. That's right. We got to do a little bit of homebrew, baby. I'll be I'll be starting here in a second, guys. I'll be starting here in a second. Uh, Leo Juarez, I'm going to show you, man. It's off. It's awesome. It's it's an awesome game. I've, I've got over, th I probably over a thousand hours into this game by now. Um, uh, Leo Juarez, I'm going to show you, man. It's off. It's awesome. It's, it's an awesome game. I've got over, I probably over a thousand. Hold on, I just gotta. Into this game by now. I just gotta mute this uh, on my phone real quick. I'll turn it down. All right, there we go. All right, guys, we're all set. I'm going to show you guys what it is. All right, uh, Homebrew Vehicle Sandbox. This is coming from Copy Bug Paste. And let's just jump into multiplayer, guys. Uh, it does have multiplayer. Uh, we got a server that's uh, that I usually jump on here, guys. It's Big Land. And um, let me get my chat back up. There we go. Okay. And so basically, this is a totally sandbox building game, and uh, it's it's a challenge. I mean, it, it, sound is too, guys. I may have to turn down my. Uh, hold on a second here. Uh, let me know how the sound is between my voice and. Out of this uh, area. I don't even know where to start. I'm going to start with the weapons. But basically, look at this crazy thing. This is Sandbox building. Any kind of vehicle you want to build, three, I'm going to show you build here in a second. You can build. Uh, I mean, there's just insane stuff. You're going to see some insane creations in here while I'm here. I mean, you can find vehicles like that. Uh, got guys over here right now that are starting to spawn stuff in, uh, so you'll see some of that. Um, I'm going to show you real quick uh, some of the weapons, and then I'm going to show you when will this stream be. It's streaming right now, still. Ah, uh, uh, no, no, I remember saving Boss Dallas. I remember you. I'm going to show you. Uh, I'm going to open my last project up. This is something I've been working on. Uh, something since they've added weapons I want to do is I want I want to get a uh, reoccurring match going or a battle or whatever you want to call it. An event, we'll call it an event. And I want to do like a nostalgic battle. It's kind of like World War One, World War Two. And I want to start off with World War One. This is my World War One fighter plane that I built. But basically you get in this building and um, you build whatever you want. So um, there's there's and it's it was a steep learning curve, but they've got tutorials up here on the top right, manuals and things like that. Your best bet is to get in here. And there's a great uh, community of Discord that'll help you out. Um, 
But basically, uh, you can, let me show you actually how to do a uh, new product. And I'll show you this real quick. We'll call this uh, live stream. Uh, just in case, I think one was it that asked about uh, Leo asked about what this is. So basically, this is what it looks like when you start the way. This is what it looks like. This little peak right here. And basically, you've got all these parts, right? I was adding the parts and things like that. Um, and this has come a long way from where it was when it first started out uh, eons ago as HP13. But basically, you come in here, and I use the long one, I don't know what she's saying. And you weld these parts What's um, amazing about this game is it, there's all these kind of different, um, what kind of bots are there? turn those down just a hair. It's just driving me bonkers. I can't hear that. I'll turn it back up here in a minute. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. Okay, tell me how... Hold on, let me go into the, into the an OBS and turn it down there too. Alright, there we go. Tell me how it is now, guys. I couldn't take that either. It was, that was hurting my brain. Alright, let me save this real quick. Alright. There. Alright, so I turned the sounds way down. Now they're probably too low, but... Oh well. Alright, let's do this. Okay, so you come in here and you build. You build whatever you want. And I'm not going to go through a whole tutorial on how you can build, but I do want to show these weapons. So, uh, what you've got, which are very cool. Uh, first off, we got a gun mount they've added. And... They've added a uh, 50 caliber machine gun. We're just going to spawn these in, guys. 40 millimeter grenade, launcher, a 20 millimeter rotary cannon. Um, and this is really a game changer in this game because now with these weapons, uh, you can have uh, events like, you know, you can, of course, fight other people, uh, create uh, awesome uh, vehicles with these weapons now. I'm going to spawn these all in. I'm going to mount them up. You can show you guys what I got. Um, let's get a seat in here as well. I'll show you something cool with the seats that has to do with weapons. And then we're going to go out and explore the world a little bit and show you some other stuff. All right. Uh, <laughs> I know it was too loud. All right. So first off, let's get the seat on there. This seat is your control center. Uh, basically, this is your control center for your vehicle. But let's put these weapons on, guys. And I'll show you um, the different weapons. And you, as I'm doing that, you can kind of see how, you know, I'm making a vehicle, basically. You can just make whatever you want, add wheels, wings, whatever. There are phys physics in this game, so you have to factor in physics. So you can see this little blue dot right here. I like center of gravity and all those kind of things. Uh, so uh, it is challenging, but in a good way. So now we're going to take this mount right here. I'm going to show you something with this mount. It's very cool. You can have fixed guns, or you can have guns that aim where your mouse aims. So let's just click these on here. If you hold shift down, if you don't know that, you can uh, put multiple items on of the same thing just by holding shift down. Nice uh, nice shortcut. But basically, uh, put those on. Now we're going to get these. Um, uh, these weapons are epic. They look good. Uh, they, they're As far as sound goes, they sound good for now. I mean, I think they're going to keep working on the sound. Um no, this is, uh, turn that, there we go. This, the sound is good. Uh, I think they're going to keep, I think they did a post about improving the sounds as well. All right, let's get this baby. Now this gun, and they have some nice tracer effects. I love the tracer effects. I don't know what, why I'm not getting to this right here. Let's get that. All right. And let's get in here, put that in there. I don't know why this one's not locking up. It should be. There we go. All right, so let's get that mounted. We'll get these mounted. I'll show you guys. Uh, what these can do. Let's just turn these babies a little bit so they're not... Uh, there we go. There we go. Get some space in there. All right, let me just check the chat, guys. Uh, if you got any questions, post them in the chat. Uh, there's some people in the chat right now that I can see from the names that um, know a lot about this game. So if I don't see your question, uh, they will definitely answer the question. Okay, so let's uh, pop this in here. Again, I'm just going to show you guys some quick weapons here. 
And uh, you do need for these weapons, some of them, well, all of them, you need ammo crates. But you also need, uh, for some of them, you need uh, batteries. So when you, again, when you first start this game, there is a learning curve, but there are some tutorials and things like that. It takes a little bit. Once you kind of get the concept, um, then you're good to go. Here's a 50 cal. I love this 50 cal. I'm going to show you this 50 cal uh, on my uh, World War One fighter. I think one more, uh, the grenade launcher, 40 millimeter, oh, the mortar tube. We got a mortar tube as well. Let's put this on here. All right. Boom. There we go. And then one more right here, the mortar tube. All right. Mortar tube right there. Let's turn that over. Boom. Okay. Yeah, the traces are epic. I'll show you guys that in a little bit. Uh, put that. Okay, so here's so here's the weapons. There is a pistol. I did not pop the pistol out there, but uh, when you got big guns like this, who cares about the pistols? <laughs> who cares about the pistol? They do have a nine millimeter pistol. Okay, so let's get us a battery, guys, just so I can show you. Do a little demo of these weapons. Uh, let's get us uh, an ammo box. We'll get a couple of these, and let's go ahead and get a battery in there as well. And then I'm going to show you how it works as far as hooking things up. We're going to—I know I'm going pretty fast, but again, this is not a tutorial. This is just more quick, uh, down and dirty of this new stuff they've added into homebrew. Uh, we're going to need some serious uh, ammo crates here. So I'm just snapping a whole bunch on just so we can have some fun with this. Uh, let's see if we can get some more in here. All right. We don't want to run out of ammo. Okay, so we got enough of that. Okay, so uh, yeah, <laughs> yes. All right, so now watch this. So you got this, right? You're going to hit F2. F2, shake. Okay. And so then you get this, like, kind of, I don't know, I don't even know what you want to call it. Logic center. Um, maybe they call it something. I don't even know what they call it. But I'll tell you what it's called in programming. Like, if you go to, um, uh, if you went into Unreal Engine 4, right? And you started to get into the, the programming aspect of that. Uh, it's called blueprints. But it's kind of like that. You know, you're kind of doing blueprints through this interface. That's what it reminds me of is blueprints from like Unreal Engine. Um, now, I'll tell you, the, and I don't know what their plans are for the future for this screen. It can get a little bit overwhelming with all of the things um, on your screen. You can zoom out and zoom in. But it, do, it does get, uh, you got to really track what you're doing um, when you're hooking stuff up. Okay, so here's my bucket seat. I'm going to hook up right now these gun mounts. These gun mounts are going to allow you to basically aim your weapons with just your mouse. Um, let's just start spreading all, I mean, I got so much crap on here. Let's, I got a bunch of ammo boxes. Let's start sticking these over here. Let's get this all cleaned up, Shake. It looks, it looks crazy. Ammo boxes, we'll drag those over there. Another gun mount up here. Uh, you know, you can have static weapons. You don't have to aim them if you don't want to with your mouse. Uh, for my World War I fighter, I'm trying to stay uh, true to the uh, vintage model of those planes. And so I'm not uh, going to have, uh, I'll have fixed weapons there. Um, in my B24, I get 16 FPS from all of the logic boxes and such. What is this? Here? <laughs> yeah, it is crazy. Uh, all right, we gotta, let's go more ammo boxes. Let's drag all the. See, like, you know, like these ammo boxes? You know, if you want to have 10 ammo boxes, I think they should just give you, um, you know, a, a one box and then you put a 10 in it, right? And that's 10 ammo boxes. And then it, it, it equals the weight of 10 ammo boxes versus actually sticking 10 ammo boxes onto um, your vehicle. I think it, it would clean things up quite a bit if they uh, did that. But the, what the hell do I know? I don't know much. I'm still dragging things around. Gun mount. Let's get that up there. And pretty soon, guys, you will you will see these things fire. I promise you, if you're interested in seeing that. All right, let's put this up here. Now, the problem is now, I feel, um, I feel like I can't hear, I feel like I can't hear any sounds. <laughs> I feel like I feel like it's just me talking, and I don't like that. Um, so I, now I need—I feel like I need to—I um, need to hear something. Uh, I feel like I can hear myself, my heartbeat. All right, let's do this. All right. 
All right, there. There's a little sound now. Good. We got some sound back. All right, let's keep working on this, guys. We're going to hook this up. What, what is uh, uh, Kyo Silva? I think in the logic set, they should group up the same items. Yeah, I think so. Okay, Seven Box family calling. Yes, I agree. I think uh, at some point, I think they've talked about it. Um, but, you know, definitely cleaning up this would be a good thing. Uh, don't worry about the steering wheel hub. We get the mortar. Let's get the battery over here. We got a lot of uh, cannon. Okay, guys, we got it pretty cleaned up. Uh, we're going to hook up all these batteries together now. I mean, these ammo boxes. We're going to just stick all these together. And they just daisy chain these all together. And this basically is going to feed in to our weapons. And basically, they're going to share all these boxes. Um, I, I think there is a way to change your ammo types on some of the weapons. Um, I've tried messing with that. I've had no luck at it, to be honest. Um, but I know that I think you can do that. Let's hook some power up. One of these needs power. And that is the uh, 20 millimeter rotary. Okay, there we go. So we got all these weapons hooked up. And now what we're going to do is hook up something from the bucket seat to make these fire. And what we're going to use is space bar. Uh, that's going to shoot. All right, boom, 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 boom. All right, we're golden. Okay, guys. Okay, so now check it out. Now, what happens? You see, do you see this where I'm aiming my mouse? These weapons are pointing, and that is epic. And I think what I'm actually going to do is spawn this into the world. Um,. Oh, okay. Shake is where you change games and mutes. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, let's do this real quick, guys. We're gonna make uh, this uh, into the real world here of homebrew. I'm gonna make some uh, quick mounts real quick, just so I can actually spawn this into the world, and we can shoot some rounds off. And uh, I love. Uh, and the other part that's new with these weapons is you can damage other players. Uh, you can turn spectator mode on, I believe, and avoid getting damaged. Um, all right, there we go. Let's save this baby. Uh, save uh, and exit. Wait, hold on. We'll save project as. Oh, I called it live. Okay, got it. All right, here we go. Okay, so now we're going to spawn this baby in. I'll shoot some off, and then I want to show you guys uh, some of my stuff, of, you know, just because you got to do that. And also, I want to show you uh, some other people's stuff that's going to be flying around or driving around, and you can see that. All right, let's get out of here. Okay, so we're in the world. It's a huge area to explore with your vehicle. So let's get... Um, Let's get our live stream one out here. We'll spawn this over here so we don't disturb anybody. All right, here we go. Look at that little cool car right there. Some of the people stuff they create is unreal. Okay, so there we go. We've got something. We're going to get in our seat now, guys. Uh, you can go third-person view. And for this, you can just zoom out. You can do... Holy moly! Uh, my gun... Oh! <laughs> okay! We got some issues. Um... My big gun is hitting the ground and causing us to catapult uh, through the sky. Uh, okay, we're, we're back up. We're back up. Uh, I don't want to be over there, though. Let's go get this back over here. That was, that was pretty awesome. All right, let's get back over here. I want to show you guys this. All right, there we go. All right, let's try it again. This time I'm not going to hopefully do that. Okay, so where, look at this. So where you aim the guns, right? is where you fire. That's an option. Or you can have static mountain, mountain weapons as well. Uh, you got the big gun right here. I don't know why it's aiming a little funky. I think it's because I don't know what's going on with that. And there you go. Let's go to... Th oh, when I go to third-person view, for some reason, it just freaks out. <laughs> okay, you guys get the idea. Okay, that's basically the weapons right there. Static mounted or aiming with your mouse, uh, however you want to do it. Um, now, here's the way I want to show you guys I want to talk about is I want to get some of, now that they've got multiplayer with weapons and you can do damage, I want to do my first thing I want to try to organize 
is a World War One uh, dogfight event, like once a week, you know. Uh, but the catch is that you you have to stay. Is the sound still all screwed up, guys? I apologize. Uh, is the stream even still working? Um. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I was just doing it quick. Um, but I want to do like a World War One fighter dogfighter event. But here's the thing: I like some strict rules about you know what engine you can use. Um, I did some research on the World War One fighters, and the average speed of them was only um, a, like 130 miles an hour, 125, 130 miles an hour. That is it. So really, really slow uh, planes, right? Now, in, in homebrew, getting a plane to fly at that speed with skin on is a, ch a super, super challenge, right? So what I want to do, though, is set like a, you know, no nothing faster than 500 miles an hour on the flats, you know? Like this baby here, I had to tweak it down to have it fly slower. Um, also, no fancy, like, uh, you know, add-ons that are going to give you an advantage. Uh, nothing like that. It's got to be a fixed gun. Like, like this thing right now is just barely getting up. I mean, it's it's like, it's just grunting. To, but that's how those planes were back then. They, they just basically had enough to get going um, and had limited power. And, um, like, right now, if I stay flat, I might get up to about 350 maybe. You know, round there. Uh, but this is a good slow speed for dog fights. And I think, like, when I'm banking and turning, I get down to like 250, 200. Uh, it'll even stall if I put too much, uh, you know, too many G's on it going up or something. Um, I just think the dog fights would be epic. Uh, and I'm firing the gun right now. I've got a little, uh, you can see me going in. Let me put on the uh, third person for you. You can see the gun. Look at, look at that! Look at that! That's epic! Look at that baby. Uh, and it's because I've gotten old. I like just cruising around in my old little plane like this. Um, oh, shoot. Oh, does this guy want to go at it? I'm going in for the kill. There's a dude right down there. Let's go fly around a little bit. I'll show you guys there's some other world, not worlds, I guess zones, regions. Um, what's the fancy word? Biomes. What the hell you want to call it uh, in this game? It's really rig a big area. You can make boats, planes cars, whatever you want to make. Uh, they've, they're going to be bringing back uh, the Valley from HB13, which I'm really, really excited about. Look at that. I got, I got, a, bo I got a bogey on my six, guys. Oh, maybe. Hey, this, oh! <laughs> okay. So, I just got shot. That's what happens when you get shot currently. <laughs> you, uh, you go down. That's what happens. But I, I got to get a dog fight going here with somebody. Uh... Let me see if anybody's got uh, a World War II plane. All right, here we go. Let's go back down here. I just got taken out hard. Okay, I also have... Um, I got uh, a, a vintage tri-wing. Okay, so... Oh, I got to cool down here. So they also had these in World War One, A little more lift, you know, to the wings and all that. But also more drag, you know, you start adding those wings in there. Look at that baby. I just love making these vehicles. You know, uh, it's just attention to detail. You know, um, you can just really, really spend hundreds and hundreds of hours on this making whatever the hell you want to make, really. It's really crazy. Um, you know, at you know, first, it's a challenge. At first, getting stuff to fly. You know, all those things. Uh, this may be stalling out on me right now. Look at this. If you don't get the physics right, you're going to stall out. You know, if you don't have a power ratio, this thing's dying on me right here. I just think that's about the real speed, 125, 130 miles an hour that these planes actually flew at. Look at that thing. Look at that. Look at, that. Look at those. Look at that. It's just, it's just crack-a-lacking right now. All right, so now I've showed you a little bit of slow action. I'm going to show you now um, the opposite of slow. And uh, now it's not going to be fast like, you know, you, some of you guys who are watching are used to. I mean, some of these guys have got things that go so fast, you know, that you can't even see them. I mean, like, they're just insane. But uh, I made a MiG fighter, and I love to fly this thing. Let's bring this thing in for a landing, guys. Let's bring her in nice and slow. 
I think they've also upgraded the visuals too because the game looks really, really good. All right, there we go. Nice, nice. Look at that. A little touch down there. Okay, let's get the MIG out. All right, so here's my MIG. I love this thing. I wanted to make a MIG. I just, I love, I love how it turned out. I mean, it's not perfect, but I just, I love this thing. And I love, and this is, a, it says Captain Shakenotsky, I think, on the side here. And I got this as Putin Incorporated. <laughs> this is, ha, <laughs> right, let's fire this baby up, guys. Here we go, the MIG. I love this thing. I got some Russian words on the inside. They do mean something. I can't remember what they mean, but they do mean something. Now, just check out this beast. Uh, just broke the sound barrier. Let's bring her around. Come by for a pass. I mean, come on now. Come on. I mean, <laughs> oh, baby. Top Gun. It is way too much fun to fly in this game. And the cool part is, you know, that uh, you you created it, and that's what's so cool about it is you can really go to town uh, on some. Uh, yeah, I mean, look at you can just get, look at this, and this is nothing. Some dudes have got some stuff so fast it's just unbelievable. But this is just a ton of fun, uh, fun to fly. I got some G forces. The whole screen is shaking. Let's change the view real quick. Uh, uh, you can add, you can have you know you get your wheels go up. You can add all kinds of things to your vehicles. I'm gonna show you one that's really cool. Watch this. So I'm doing, I'm cooking, right? Now watch this. You ready for this? Watch this. Ready for this? Watch. You ready? Yeah. Just pause that baby in midair. Let's go. <laughs> oh, I just got taken out. Uh, you can add a drag modifier uh, to your to your uh, vehicle, and basically it turns almost like into the mate the the matrix, right? Where uh, you know you're doing you know thousand miles an hour or whatever, and boom, you just go from a thousand to zero like in, on a dime. Uh, you'd also make cars. So I just I was screwing around. I made this uh, one right here. I call this the Swamp Rat. Um, I wanted some kind of military doom buggy uh, looking thing, so I made this thing called. Uh, if I can get it to work, there we go. The Swamp Rat. It's just a fun little doom buggy. It's got. Uh, you know, I gotta have the uh, machine gun on top. And again, the the uh, motto of this game is uh, dream, build, and enjoy, right? That's really what it is. It's like this totally open world, you know, with stuff in it that you can come up with events with your friends. You can uh, build whatever crazy creations you can make. And they don't, some of them don't even look like vehicles. They, they look like, um, uh, I don't, some are just crazy. And in fact, uh, maybe I'll go up top here. Maybe someone will deploy some of their, uh, their crazy things. Hold on. Let me see if what else I got in here. Um, I was making a, oh, I was making an AC-130 gunship. Oh, I got to show you guys this. All right. So look at this. So um, if you scroll through your mouse, you can actually go, let's go to, um, let's go to high mountains. No hero mountain. We're going to go to hero mountain. We're going to go to the landing strip. I like this spawning thing. <laughs> Those air brakes, uh, are awesome. Okay. I just, I was supposed to spawn at the, oh, there we go at the airfield. This is another place you can fly here if you want, but, uh, we just teleported. Okay, so here's the other thing cool about this game is the com the community in this game. So, where the hell's the runway at? Did they get rid of the runway? There used to be there used to be a runway out here. I could have swore there was. Is it over that way? All right, so I'm gonna show you guys my AC-130 gunship. I'm also working on a uh, World War II. I think it was what the B-17 bomber. Um, there used to be a runway out here. Where the hell is it? Did they get rid of it? All right, hold on. Why can't I, why is my, oh. All right, let's bring, I got to bring something up to travel around here real quick. Uh, let's go with um, World War II weapons. This one will get me up quick. Yeah, here we go. Oh, yeah, look at this. I was just experimenting around with this, just having a good old time. I love flying this little thing. Look at, it just, it's a beast. Uh, let's go find the runway. Oh, did I hit the bay? Okay, there's a runway somewhere around here. That looks epic.
epic. All right, where's the runway, boys? It should be right. It used to be right over here. Oh, there it is, right there. All right. All right, we're gonna. There we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Let's bail. All right, hey, there's someone over here. Check it out. All right, now I'm gonna show you guys uh, my AC-130. You know, I wanted to always make one of these. Now that there's weapons, I've got the uh, general outline of my AC-130. Uh, we've got the cannon, 40 mic mic, and we got the two Vulcans here on the side. And uh, let's get in this baby. Uh, let's uh, let's let's fire her up. All right, here we go. Uh, come on, what's wrong with this? All right, hold on. Come on now. There's people watching Shake. For some reason, the um, the the runway here has uh, it it like lets your vehicle sink into the ground and then it it glitches it out a little bit. All right, let's try this again. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Come on, baby, get up, come on. Here we go, we're up, we're up. Well, come on, baby! Woo okay, so, hey, what's up, uh, Nick? How you doing? So, again, what's cool about this game is experimentation. It's so, like, you know, you got to tweak these planes to get them to work. But here's how I use the uh, AC-130, which I have actually uh, experienced in real life, being around these things, um, is you get up to about eight grand, right? And then you bank hit, hit a hard bank left, and then we're just going to sit up here, right over the over the targets, and cruise around over this island, and we're basically going to unleash the gods on them. Let's get over here real quick. All right, here we go. Coming up on our targets, Roger. Uh, gunship. Uh, this is uh, ground forward control. Uh, we have targets identified, Roger. <laughs> Uh, oh my god, I, I, I didn't bank the right way. That's right. Let's, let's well, watch this. Let's open up on these babies. Watch this. I mean, come on now. Just like, look at this. Look at this. Watch this. Woo -hoo 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 oh my god. Let's, uh, let's change the view a little bit so you guys can see that thing. I mean, look at that. And once I get his skin, man, it's going to be epic. I mean, it's still rough right now. It's in its, uh, but you can see. There goes the gun. Look at that, look at that. I'm already out of bullets. Let's bring it around, we'll come back around. I'll show you now my uh, World War II, I think it's a B-17. I can never remember the names of these damn things. All right, here we go. Yeah, I love doing the different stuff in the game. Probably the, the most fun though is the flying. It's just, it's, um, it just feels really cool. I don't know. It's just the flying in this game is just awesome. All right, there's look here's somebody right here uh, spawning something in. Look at that thing. Look at that thing. Look at this thing. Look at that. It's look, he's changing. He's transforming that baby. I mean, look at that. What? It's gonna what? Just it's gonna be gone. I'm doing my sound effects. Yeah, yeah. You could have like here. I'll show you this. Okay, so. Here's something else I'm working on. Yeah, it's the B-17, guys. So I have got all the... Look at this, man. This is going to be epic. So, like, if you want to... I can have a whole crew of people in the B-17, and you control each of these guns, right? So imagine you do, like, a, a scenario, right? Like, hold on. i got to get a drink. Hold on, guys. Imagine you do a scenario one night, right? Where you, you take up a couple B-17s, and their mission is to take out this mountain, right? And then you've got the the dogfighters, World War II dogfighters that are kind of basically defending this mountain, and they got to take you out. But you got this full of people. You got uh, you know your gunners all in their positions. They're ready to take out those dudes. Um, did my game just freeze up? Oh, there we go. So I'm gonna take. Let's see if I can get this thing off the ground. I mean, you got a gunner on the front. I mean, you, it's just gonna be epic. All right, guys, we're in the we're in the cockpit. Let's see if I can get this baby. I mean, I gotta skin it. I gotta get it. You know. All pimped out, but I'm happy with the start of this B B17 World War II right here.
Now these guns, I have. Um, <laughs> these guns, I have no control over. These these are going to be controlled by the people actually in the plane. Look at that nice smooth takeoff. We're airborne. Look at that. And basically, put your buddies in the you know whatever guns you want to put them on. I don't even I don't even have the steering right on this one. It's all screwed up. Yeah, wouldn't that be awesome, Skeleton? This said, yeah, my props already been flying or turning. What's up with that? I have no idea. That's weird. All right, let's get out of there. We're bailing. I would like to see some wing suits as well in the game. I think wing, wing suits. You jump out. Uh, parachuting with some wingsuits. I think that would be awesome as well. All right, let's get back uh, to the mainland uh, where everybody's hanging out at. Let's uh, valley home. We're going to go to the landing strip. And let's see what else I can dig up or we can see in the stream. Um, if you want to see a certain weapon or something or anything, just let me know. I'll try to see what I can dig up here. All right, let's see what I got here. Let's look in the goodie, the goodie bag. I want to pull out that MIG again. I'll show you guys that... Um, I want to show you, uh, what's the war pig? I'm making all kinds of, oh, I was making a battleship, the USS Steel, with a gunship. Flesh Gordon, I don't know what the hell. Some of the names I've come up with, I don't even know what the hell they are. Uh-huh, uh-huh, oh my, okay, Black Beauty, I don't even know what the hell that is. First car, New World. And there's some people who have made some incredible things. Some guy made a, um, uh, a shark. Oh, I made this Doom Buggy. I think I dig this thing right here. This is something I made a while ago. What the hell is that, Shake? I made that thing, I think, way back. And so what else we got here? World War II Jeep. I made a submarine. All right, let's let's uh, let's go back to that MiG. I want to show you guys that air. I, I can see some comments about the air brake. So I, I'm guessing uh, people want to see that. Uh... All right, look at that mama. Look at that baby. Look at the lighting, the reflections they've done off the off the skins now. It look really, really good. Now, actually, guys, those rockets do come off. I made some homemade bombs. Uh, there is not bombs yet in this game, but I think that will come, I'm guessing. Um, I got landing lights? Jeez. I got landing lights? What else do I got here? Q to ignite the rockets. One to detach them. So we're going to send off some rockets here in a minute. Uh, let's get this baby going. Look at that mother. I mean, that's smooth as butter. Look at that. Shaking that skit on duty. I mean, come on now. Come on now. All right. You ready for some rockets? We're going to pause it. Pause. Watch. Light them. Rockets off. Look at those waves go. Now we're going to open up with some machine gun fire. Oh my god, that is just epic. Let's bring her back. I love flying this thing. I already, I already said that like five times, I know. I got I got I got uh, air air uh, ground to air defense shooting at me. Coming around. Uh I don't know what just happened, guys. I don't know what. Did I go through a uh, portal? I think I just went through a portal or something. I'm in another world. <laughs> I don't even know where, what just happened. Um, let's uh, let's get back to uh, the valley. Landing strip. All right. That was fun. All right. Now, I'm going to show you guys. So it's all fun and good, but my favorite still. I love just flying around, and some of you guys have probably seen me in the game here in the last couple of days, is um, I just like to fly around in this vintage plane, like a goofball, just cruising through the map. Am I still in multiplayer? I think I got kicked out. Oh, I think the server crashed. Hold on, let's see. No, I think maybe they kicked me out. <laughs> maybe they kicked me out. They kicked old Shake out. All right, here we go. 
And uh, Skeleton's been playing this game, uh, you know, since the caveman days. So if you got any questions, he definitely can uh, answer those as well. I just love how slow this plane is. Look at that. Just slow. Slow and steady. Look at that. I mean, it's just barely getting up. Barely. And it'll go faster, but I tweaked it so it's it just barely is getting up like that. You know, to more replicate that kind of World War uh, World War One feel of combat. <laughs> Skeletons ancient. That's right. Uh, we're going to ride off into the sunset here. I don't know. Uh, I, 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 I got back on the server, but I don't see anybody. So I don't know if uh, they've all left. I mean, look at that. The sun's going down in the world of homebrew. Let me get your gun mount on the front. And again, what I'd love to see, I want to I want to get an event going. Hopefully there's some other uh, nostalgic nuts in homebrew that want to just build some... Uh, some vehicles of that era, you know, that, you know, on the honor system that are going to be flying pretty slow, fixed weapons, no special gadgets, and just get up there, you know, dogfight. I think it would be a hoot. You know, maybe do a scenario or something, a mission, you know, put some guys on the flat land and you got to attack them or something. Um, I think it'd be a ton of fun. Now, you guys are look, watching me fly this plane. It looks like, oh, it's, you know, easy to put this together, but. Uh, this took many hours of tweaking and balancing and, you know, the moving of uh, the wings and the adjusting of the engine, the torque, uh, the gearing, um, you, you know, where you put the weight at in reference to the wings. All of that stuff uh, plays a part in this game, and uh, but that's what makes it so much fun. Like I said, Gorefor says he's been longer in Skelly. Um, I've been playing since HB13 came out. Um... You know, off and on, though. I've not played in a while. I've been waiting, you know, kind of checking on it and kind of seeing how it's doing. I had to get back on when I saw these um, updates for the weapons, and I'm glad I did. Uh, I've seen a lot of same, you know, familiar names still in the game, uh, which is awesome to see. All right, I'm, I'm going to bring her in here, guys, see if I can land this. Okay, not, not a great landing there, Shake. Let's get out of there. Let me see if I can get back in the server, guys. I don't know what happened. Uh, the serv Oh, the servers crashed. This one. Let's jump in this one here real quick. Yeah, uh, I, I, am a, I am an ancient uh, homebrew uh, player. The, the thing I've loved about this game is just the freedom to do whatever the hell you want. That's the part I really loved. I would love to see at some point, uh, I think they're heading that way, you know, the ability to, I think they're trying it where you can make, you can create your own events, basically. So, like this event I want to do with the World War One kind of deal, it would allow me to create this event in-game. Um, what the hell? Look at this guy. Look at this. I mean, it, it, and that's nothing. There's there's this one guy that was in the server today. It uh, starts with a Z or something. Uh, look at this. Oh, we got some uh, nighttime coming, so we're going to get some. Look at this guy. Look at this. Oh, my God. Did you see that? Right, I'm going to take my MIG up and see if they want to shoot at my MIG. Let's do it. Let's bring the MIG back up. Let's see. I'm sure they're going to want to shoot me down here. Here we go. Wheels up. All right, here we go. Let's see what we can do. Let's bring this back around and... Uh, Let's get some altitude on this guy. There we go. Look at that. We're about to... We're going we're to turn it around here. We're going to go in bonsai. All right. Let's, uh, let's do rockets first. I don't know how to say rockets in uh, Russian. Anybody know how to say rockets in Russian? I don't even know which way the ground is anymore. Oh, there it is right there. All right, let's hold it right there. My God, where am I? I'm in another. Oh, there we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here. We're going to hold up, pause it. All right, rockets are away. There they go. Oh, my God. There they go. That was awesome. Going in for the kill. Woo! 
damn! I mean, that's ridiculous right there. I mean, we're hitting, we're, we're arcing that. Oh my God. Put on your G suit, boys! Oh, there he is, right there, there he is. All right. I got a mark on his. Uh... I just put some shots down. Yeah, bombs and missiles are going to be awesome as hell. Woo! Damn, Shake! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> hey, here's the funny part, guys. Oh, here we go. Here, target up. The funny part is I'm I'm flying this with mouse and keyboard. Um, I'm not even using a, a gamepad or whatever, you know, this is all mouse and keyboard. Oh God, Shake. Calm down, buddy. There he is. Taking fire. Nighttime's coming. I'm putting, I'm putting pepper in. Pull up, shake. Pull up, baby. Pull up. I'm down. Oh, I'm still good. I got fire. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. Hey, uh, I want to get that uh, the World War II event uh, going. I think that would be so much fun. All right. Let's bring this baby around. Like a glove, like a glove, like a glove. That was fun as hell right there. Okay, guys. <laughs> you know that big? Okay, so it's nighttime. Let's take up uh, the gunship, the the uh, the AC-130. Uh, I don't have enough ammo in it, but uh, let's. I gotta take it up one more time, just for the fun of it. All right, let's take up the AC-130. Come on, baby, get up. Taking fire. Let's get her up. Let's get her up to cruising altitude, about eight grand. We'll get the guns turned on it. Here we go. I'm about to unleash uh, right here. Right there. Okay, we're we'll bringing around. AC 130 is on station. Big gun firing. I'm waiting for a, I want to see a, right there. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> oh, he's after me. I think I'm already, oh, look at, look at the tracers. Look at that. I mean, how cool is that? All right, let's see if I can get this guy. I'm out. Damn it. I need more ammo on this thing. Let's bring her in. See, I wish they'd add um, parachutes. You know, not that you that's you, not that you die when you fall, but uh, I think it'd be cool to like jump out and if you had like a wingsuit or something, just to cruise around up here. I think it'd be kind of cool. All right, let's, uh, let's get down here, and then I'm going to... I think I'm getting towards the end of wrapping this baby up. I just had to show off these weapons, guys. And oh, let's go see. Some people got some uh, vehicles down here. Let's go check these out.
Let's see what they got on the runway down there. Oh, let's see, someone's talking about dog fighting. Oh yeah, I'm dog fight, dude. Let's dog fight. I can't get up there. Come on now. I thought I could do the double jump. I can't even jump on this wall. There we go. There we go. All right. All right. Here's some guys right down here. Let's get our... Uh, look at these guys going at it. Let's pull up... Uh, so should we bring, yeah, Tweety Bird's a little faster. Let's bring up Tweety Bird. Oh, yeah, I got two guns on Tweety Bird. All right, we're up. All right, let's see what these guys are. Oh, this guy's, he's going to take old shake out with that speed he's got. Can you imagine, like, dog fighting like this, though, with other people? I'm opening up. I'm opening up. Oh, he's right here. He's right here. I'm right here. Right high. Where'd he go? Right there. Right there. Is there he is. Right there. I see him in the distance. There is a way to zoom in with your guns. I've not hooked that up yet. Where is he? Let's go third person and find targets. All right, I got one of my six. I got on six. There they are, right there. They're, they don't even. They're not even. They're not even worried about shake. All right, there he's. Oh, he's barrel roll. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not gonna outmaneuver me, Betty. All right, where's it? Right here, right here, right up above me. Right here, right here, right here. Right there. There he's here. Oh, we got this guy. If I can get a hit on you. There's hit markers too, so. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh, he's on my six. Barrel turn, baby. Yeah, this game is awesome. Uh, I mean, it's all about having an imagination. And again, it's, you know, dream, build, and joy. It's like, you know, you think of something you want to make, there's crazy shit people make. They don't even look like vehicles. There's some wild, wild, trust me. Uh, I'm going to go for a straight human right here, coming in low. Let's see if we can, oh, right there, right there, right there. What the hell is that? Oh, that's my, oh, that's my crosser, damn it. Where's this dude right here? I'm down, I'm down. Damn it. All right, it's over. All right, it's all over the crying. All right, guys, I think I should probably wrap it up there. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is uh, Homebrew Vehicle Sandbox. It was fun. I appreciate you guys joining me. I just wanted to show you these weapons. Um, and, you know, they've done this big update. The game looks great. I love it. Uh, especially the weapons is a lot of fun. I'd like, I can't wait to see it when it gets to the next level when you actually can like create your own events. Cause, um, to me, that's when it's really going to really, uh, shine as a game is, you know, you know, like this world war dog fight, world one dog fight I want to do. If I could create that event, you know, and make a criteria for you to enter the game, um, that event, you know, you'd have to have a certain type of vehicle, you know, certain parts you could only use, um, you know, things like that. Uh, I think that would be, uh, I think that would be a ton of fun. I think it would take it to the next level. I'm going to wrap this up. Uh, what, what am I going to get out here? What is that? Stunt plane shock and all. What the hell is that? Yeah. Th hey, thanks for joining Nick. Um, I'm not driven this thing in a long time. Lord. 
I don't even think this thing works. Oh, there we go. Um, I see. I'm gonna get distracted if I start driving this thing. This was my. Um, I was trying to use this for rock climbing. Uh, yeah, thank you guys for joining and uh, you know helping with some of the questions and answers and stuff about the game. Um, I don't even know what homebrew costs now on Steam. I don't know. I don't even know if it's on uh, sale right now, but um, check it out. Uh, a lot of fun. And again, they've got a Discord community. They have a link in the dis in their uh, on the Steam page. To go to their Discord community. They're really, really helpful people there. They got moderators there that will help you with the game if you get it. It's a lot of fun. Cheers, peace, guys. I wish you the best. And until next time, shake out.